Hey, Boo Bears, I pray you're having a good day. I just want to give you a quick message. I want to say, take time out for you to do you. Sometimes we get so caught up in our daily lives and then our daily lives turn into years and we don't do, you know, self-care for ourselves, you know, um, whatever it is. And sometimes we don't even know what to do. But I do want to challenge you because sometimes you just need downtime and you and I understand sometimes you're like, well, I don't want to spend the money or I don't have the money or something. But some way, somehow, I mean, and I will even do it for one person. I, I promise you I would do it for one person and you could, you know, film your experience and everything. But I want to challenge you. Get a room with a nice view of some sort. Every city has some kind of nice view. They have so and if they don't drive to the city that does have it. Get a view view. And sometimes you don't even need, you know, a cocktail. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna say go get some bubblies or something, but sometimes you don't even need it. You just need peace and quiet and maybe a candle and the view. Because you know the view is beautiful in the day, it'll be beautiful at night, you know? And just have time to marinate with your spirit. Because sometimes when we're being a parent and we're working and what if you're a district manager or and or you have like some kind of evil boss and you're still trying to be a parent and navigate between that, you know, your children, you know, may not be so good or may have problems in school or somebody may be bullying them and that's in your mind. And, you know, and just sometimes you, you just go on autopilot and I don't have time to take care of myself. I don't have time for that. But make time for it. Even if not for, uh, for a whole night. I can't go to a hotel for a whole night. Go get that room for four hours. And turn on some of your favorite music. And put the earphones on. Put that phone on mute for four hours. Tell the people at the front desk to call you in four hours. They know how to do that. Do something for you. You might be a caregiver. And you giving, 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 and while you giving, 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 you're depleting yourself too. And I'm not telling you not to do that. That's not what I'm saying. We've all been caregivers. I've been one. We've, you know, if you love, you care, you give, and and that's that, that's part of loving and giving. And you, you know, you deplete your spirit. So I just want to say, rejuvenate it with something you like. Go get your feet rubbed. Go get your hands rubbed, go get a massage, get your nails done, get a candle, and go into that room for $250. It might not be no more than $250. Don't you think that's worth your piece? I don't have that money, but then you're going to have to spend it when you have a stress attack in the hospital. That's way more than $250.